Imagine turning salty waste from desalination into a lifeline for our oceans. Saudi Arabia's groundbreaking artificial river isn't just a marvel, it's a game changer in tackling the brine challenge. Curious to see how this ambitious project could save our marine ecosystems? Let's dive in. Previously, we have discussed the world's largest artificial river and its significance. Today, you will be amazed at how it can help in various ways and, more importantly, with the challenge we are all facing – environmental damage from the brine discharge. In 2024, cutting-edge technology and engineering come together to tackle environmental concerns in a groundbreaking way. Watch how experts are working towards a sustainable future with this exciting project. Every year, millions of tons of hypersaline brine are dumped into our oceans as a byproduct of desalination. Water so salty, it can devastate marine habitats. But what if we could turn this crisis into an opportunity for environmental restoration? We cracked the code on how to conquer the brine challenge using the world's largest artificial river. Hey guys, did you know that the brine challenge is not just a local problem, but a global issue affecting marine life and ecosystems worldwide? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a global challenge affecting our oceans and exploring some innovative solutions. It's a problem that threatens marine ecosystems and challenges our efforts in sustainable water management. The urgency to find sustainable solutions has never been greater. Saudi Arabia boasts the world's largest desalination capacity, accounting for about 50% of the global total. In its extensive desalination facilities, substantial volumes of brine are discharged. Furthermore, the seawater intakes from the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf, which have some of the highest salinity levels globally, contribute to the high mineral content in the desalination byproducts. As a result, the brine produced by these desalination plants typically has twice the salt concentration of the original seawater. Al Jubail, the world's most extensive desalination facility, which processes over 1.4 million cubic meters of water daily, the resulting treated brine is discharged back into the Arabian Gulf. Despite its high cost and energy requirements, desalination is essential in hot, arid regions like Saudi Arabia, where it is a crucial water source for its population of 34 million and its neighboring Gulf countries. A 2019 global study supported by the United Nations revealed that approximately 16,000 desalination plants worldwide produce, on average, 1.5 liters of brine for each liter of fresh water generated. The brine discharge from desalination plants is an escalating issue that significantly impacts marine environments due to its high salinity, temperature, and chemical content. Brine, which is saltier and often warmer than the original seawater, can increase local water salinity to levels detrimental to marine life, disrupt the thermal balance of ecosystems, and introduce harmful chemicals. These factors can lead to reduced biodiversity, the creation of hypersaline environments unsuitable for most marine organisms, and physical disruptions to seabed habitats due to the denser brine settling on the ocean floor. To mitigate these negative impacts, innovative solutions are crucial. These include brine dilution techniques to spread and reduce its concentration, alternative management strategies like utilizing brine in commercial products or aquaculture, and the development of advanced treatment technologies that can minimize waste. Furthermore, Strengthening environmental monitoring and regulations is essential to ensuring that desalination practices are sustainable. Given the growing dependence on desalination globally, particularly in arid regions, investing in research and sustainable technology development is vital for protecting marine ecosystems while securing water resources. Saudi Arabia's introduction of the world's largest artificial river represents a monumental stride towards sustainable environmental management, particularly in addressing the challenges posed by brine produced by desalination processes. This artificial river isn't just a feat of engineering, it's a comprehensive solution designed to mitigate the adverse effects of brine on marine ecosystems while enhancing water resource management. The core function of the artificial river is to dilute and redistribute the highly saline brine that results from desalination desalination processes. The river, 
engineered to span thousands of kilometers across Saudi Arabia, employs a sophisticated network of channels and reservoirs. This system is strategically designed to blend the brine with larger volumes of water, thus diluting its salinity before it is safely discharged into the sea or repurposed for industrial or agricultural use. The technology supporting Saudi Arabia's artificial river is intricately designed for efficiency and minimal environmental impact. It incorporates advanced filtration systems to remove impurities from brine and fresh water, ensuring safety when reintroduced into natural water bodies. Automated flow and salinity regulators are strategically placed along the river to maintain optimal salinity levels, minimizing ecological disruption. The river utilizes energy-efficient pumps, powered by renewable energy, to ensure a consistent flow of large volumes of water and brine across extensive distances. Additionally, the system is equipped with smart sensors and IoT technology to continuously monitor and adjust water quality, flow rates, and salinity, ensuring optimal performance and minimal environmental impact in real time. The implementation of this artificial river offers substantial benefits, including environmental protection by significantly reducing the salinity of wastewater entering the oceans, thus safeguarding marine ecosystems. It provides a sustainable solution for managing the large volumes of brine produced by desalination plants, converting waste into a valuable resource for environmental restoration or industrial applications. The controlled dilution and redistribution of brine minimizes pollution risks associated with direct sea discharge, promoting cleaner marine environments. Economically, the river reduces costs associated with environmental damage and the need for advanced brine treatment technologies. Furthermore, the strategic release of diluted brine into designated areas aids in the creation of managed wetlands and supports biodiversity transforming barren areas into thriving ecosystems. Now, let's unveil the groundbreaking engineering plans and technologies behind the construction of this artificial river. From advanced filtration systems to strategic distribution channels, project showcases the power of human ingenuity in tackling environmental challenges. The potential impact of reducing brine concentration in oceans is immense, offering hope for a healthier marine ecosystem. According to Arabian Business, Saudi Arabia's latest initiative is poised to become the world's largest desalinated water transport network. The project, known as the Artificial River, will incorporate anti-corrosion pipes, each measuring 2.25 meters in diameter. In a few years, the extensive network of water pipes will facilitate the transport of fresh water across various regions, indicating that the project will be twice the size of the Nile, which spans over 6,000 kilometers. The pipeline infrastructure beneath Saudi cities will stretch for 126,000 kilometers, enough to circle the globe three times. This network will produce an impressive 9.4 million cubic meters of water daily. It was revealed that if this volume were distributed globally, each person on Earth would receive two gallons, approximately two bottles, of water from Saudi Arabia's desalination water production. Through the world's largest artificial river, Saudi Arabia is setting a global benchmark in how countries can harness technology and innovative engineering to address environmental challenges posed by industrial processes like desalination. This project not only represents a significant advancement in environmental technology, but also acts as a model for sustainable development, emphasizing the balance between meeting human needs and preserving the natural world. Imagine the difference, a future where our efforts mitigate the impacts of brine, preserving biodiversity and supporting marine life, compared to a world where the oceans continue to bear the burden of industrial waste. In summary, the benefits of implementing the artificial river are undeniable. The world's largest artificial river stands as a testament to what we can achieve when innovation meets dedication. This project doesn't just offer a solution to the brine challenge, it sets a new standard for environmental conservation and water resource management. By efficiently diluting and redistributing the highly saline brine, the artificial river significantly reduces the harmful impact of desalination on marine ecosystems. It trans 
transforms waste into a valuable resource, promoting cleaner oceans and supporting biodiversity. Economically, it reduces the costs associated with environmental damage and the need for advanced brine treatment technologies. Furthermore, the creation of managed wetlands and thriving ecosystems in barren areas highlights the river's potential for ecological restoration. Saudi Arabia's pioneering efforts demonstrate how advanced technology and innovative engineering can address global environmental challenges, paving the way for a more sustainable future. Let us know your thoughts on the video. Like and share this video to spread the word about this innovative solution to the brine challenge. Let's inspire more initiatives like this and work together for a sustainable future. Subscribe for more updates on how technology and creativity can combat environmental challenges. Thanks for watching, and remember, every action counts towards saving our planet.